we want to graph a linear function. And in order to do this, we can use three methods. We can use the intercept method, we can set up a table of values, or we can use the slope and y-intercept to plot two points. So let's look at an example of each of these. Suppose we want to graph f of x equals 4x minus 2, and we're going to use the intercept method. The intercept method means let's let x equal 0. If x is 0, then we have f of x is 4 times 0 minus 2, which is negative 2. So that means we have the point 0, negative 2. Now let's consider f of x equal to 0. So we have 0 equals 4x minus 2. If we add 2 to both sides, we have 2 equals 4x. So now if we divide both sides by 4, we have 2 fourths equals 4x over 4. So 1 half equals x. So we have x is 1 half and f of x is 0. So we have 1 half, 0. So the line would look something like this. f of x equals 4x minus 2, and we use the intercept method. We found where it crosses the y-axis by letting x equal 0, where it crosses the x-axis by letting f of x equal 0. Let's look at a different method. Suppose we want to graph f of x equal 1 half x plus 1 using the table method. The table method means we simply select values of x, calculate the values of f of x. Of course, 0 is a really easy value because we put 0 in for x. 1 half times 0 is 0 plus 1. Now, because we have a 2 in the denominator, I'm going to let x equal 2. We put a 2 here, 1 half times 2 plus 1. 2's cancel, we get 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So we have 2, 2. Let's try one more value. Let's try x equal to 4. So I'll have 1 half times 4 plus 1. The 2's cancel, I get 2. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 equals 3. So that means I wind up with 4, 3. Now the reason I selected three points is as an insurance policy. 0, 1 goes here. 2, 2 goes here. 4, 3 goes here. Please notice that all three of these lie in a straight line. If we had found points that did not lie in a straight line, and we did in fact have a linear equation, notice we have x to the first power here, we would have run into a problem and could have gone back and checked ourselves. Finally, suppose we want to graph f of x equal negative 2x plus 3 using the slope and the y-intercept. Recall that y equals mx plus b, so that means this crosses the y-axis at 3, so we can put the dot at 0, 3. Also, the slope is negative 2, if the slope is equal to negative 2, remember that the slope stands for the rise over the run. Since we don't have a number here, we automatically have a 1, automatically have a 1 as our denominator. So we rise 2, which means we come down 2 and over 1. That means if we graph our line, it looks like this. And we write f of x equals negative 2x plus 3, and we did this one using the slope and y-intercept method.